Let's take a minute and crack a lid on a few busy boxes. This is a nuke that I put these bees in right out a week ago. This is the one I didn't cage the queen. I just locked the whole colony in this box. And you can see they've taken to the box and doing just fine. Scrape all these dead bees off the sides here so the box, so the lid will sit a little more flat. That one there that I pushed in the box, they're disposing of it. Bees have got undertakers just like people do. Got a couple more over here I need to clean up in front of them, get the grass out of their way. I'll take a minute to do that. But first let's crack the lids. There's a dead one with pollen still on her legs. She ain't dead yet, but she's real close. She's still moving a little bit. I don't know what that's all about. There's an abdomen. Let's crack this lid and see what's going on here. Dang it, girls. I gotta clean that burr comb off the bottom of that lid. Might have to put some more frames in here. I just got them started out on uh, seven frames here and they've Obviously just about outgrown that. If I don't stick some more in here pretty quick, they'll be wanting to swarm. I'm gonna look, make sure the queen's not in there somewhere, and then I'll knock them off the lid so I don't squish them when I put the lid back on. Keep that flight path clear. I don't know what these are still doing in here in the grass. This is the ones I dumped off that lid. I don't see the queen in there. That's the important part. Set one, she's tapping me in the hand. <laughs> she tried to get me on the ear. I got her first, though. I don't know if it's because of the way I've got these frames laid in here, but every time I open this box, there's a bunch of drones on this in this area right here on top of these frames.
these are drones. Those are the male bees. Got the bug eyes. A little bit bigger body, no stinger. That's a drone compared to a worker right there. There's some brood on that frame. Not a real tight pattern, but it's there. Let me take it out for a second and see if I see the eggs in it. It's kind of overcast and they don't really like that. They tap them in the hands. I see a lot of pollen, but no eggs or larvae. There's honey on this end. I'll have to get through this box to make sure they're not queenless. This is a couple of frames that I put in that a possum had got into and chewed the comb off of it and they've already straightened it out a lot and they'll finish straightening it out and build on that. Here's another one, same way. It was all chewed up and they started drawing that out again. Both sides. Burr comb down in there, I need to get rid of. I found an old nasty moldy frame that I can add to this one box. I scrape everything off the top, and there's still a bunch of pollen in there that they can use. Maybe I won't use it. I see a beetle larva. I see a bunch of beetle larvas. Those are high beetle larvas. I'm fixing to get this away from my hive. I was able to find one more clean frame laying around. It's never been built on. So there's no trash and disease with this. So I'll slide, I slide this one out, slide these two out. Sorry about the bad filming on one hand and all this. I see a good brood pattern in there. I didn't go in this far last time. I see a real good brood pattern on that third frame in. Let me pull it out and get a little look at it. Yeah, that looks good. Next one's not too bad either. I'm going to push these two main frames of brood back together and put this empty, new empty frame right next to them.
You gotta watch when you slide these things together, these bees run in between these frames, so you gotta, unless you're a commercial beekeeper and you're just in it for the volume, you gotta kinda be careful when you slide them together, lose a few that way. That'll give them something to work on for a few days till I get over here and get some more frames and they'll be ready for another box pretty soon. I told someone you could keep bees in anything that you were willing to put them in and they would do good. So I'm going to test my theory. I got an old barbecue grill here. I've seen them on a barbecue grill before so that's, that's done. Old washing machine there. A muffler. Got some old uh, tires and wheels laying around. But I think I'm going to put them in an old microwave and see if I can't make an observation hive. So stay tuned and we'll see how that works out for me. Everybody's coming in for the night. Brought some more frames to finish filling this box up. And I picked all the larva and wax moths off of this thing. Left it out in the sun all day. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in there and let them work on it. They don't like to be fooled with in the evening. I'm not using no smoke and uh, they let me know it. They keep hitting me in the hands, the arms, and the head. No stings, just bumping into me. I got nine frames, that box will fit 10 frames. That's all I'm gonna put for now because that's all I brought with me.